When Cal State Fullerton product Michael Lorenzen joined the Dragons, he became the fifth first-round pick on the 25-man squad, giving him a chance to learn from other highly touted prospects. You never stop learning the game of baseball when you can get around a group of guys like this, as advanced as they are, and you can ask them questions and learn and, and ask what they do to, to help them perform the way they do, and you can just take in and discern whatever, whatever you want. But what makes Lorenzen different is he was drafted as both a pitcher and outfielder, and will get a chance to continue to do both in Dayton. I feel like a little kid out here. I felt like a little kid in college running in from center closing and as long as you can keep this game a game and feel like a kid out here playing every day, it's nothing better. It's the best of both worlds. Just to be able to help your team the way I was able to, I guess, is also a blessing too. But as a guy who's played both positions throughout college, it's helped him as he continues to hone his skills. I understand what goes on in the mind as a hitter and <clears throat> pitchers sometimes think that hitters are a lot more dominant than what they are. And, um, I think just understanding that and understanding that when you have a good defense behind you, it just takes throwing strikes to, to be a good pitcher. But making an appearance at both positions can cause some confusion for some fans. I actually got a tweet from a kid who said, your, your picture confused me because it's got you swinging in it, but um, I saw you come in and pitch the other day, so I was just confused. So yeah, I've had that too. And it's possible Lorenzen might even get a chance to confuse fans at the major league level. They definitely told me to not set any limitations, and that'd be awesome to do both in the big leagues or just to be able to hit, you know, so I'm going to continue to polish my hitting and maybe I can help myself out one day. The Reds will focus Lorenzen on pitching where the organization believes he could get to the big leagues quickly, but for now, they'll still let him develop as a hitter and outfielder. In Dayton, James Ryder.